What's happening guys, it's Shane here. And in today's video, I'm gonna be interviewing somebody who got into digital marketing relatively recently. Ike is a couple years into their career at this point, and I'm gonna be asking them certain questions that people told me in the comments that I should be asking people when I interview them. So definitely stay tuned for that. Also go ahead, gently tap that like button, uh, ask any questions that you have in the comments down below, and let's go ahead and jump right into it. What's happening guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another very special guest. Today we got Ike to come on the channel. He has quite a bit of experience in digital marketing. He's someone who transitioned over from real estate into digital marketing. So it's gonna be great to get his perspective on whether you should you know, get into digital marketing and the different ways that you can do that. So thank you so much for coming on the channel, Ike. I really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks so much for having me, Shane. So if you could just briefly give me a little bit of your background and kind of like your experience that you had before you discovered digital marketing. Yeah, sure. Um, so for me, I graduated college like 2011. I went to uh, Montclair State University in Jersey. Um, and then after, but the thing was, uh, I didn't really have anything I really wanted to do after college in a way. <laughs> like I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I did have like a finance and like ma management degree. But then I ended up like going into the restaurant, becoming a waiter, and then, you know, um, becoming like a general manager later on, in which that I was in that industry for like four years. And then after that, I got into real estate sales, um, just like you touched on, um, and in uh, New York City. Um, and I was doing that for like four years, another four years. And then um, I was kind of seeing, you know, my... Uh, I would say my greatest motivator to get into real estate, not real estate, sorry, um, the uh, digital marketing uh, uh, pretty much was because, you know, these are kind of, um, to me, it was kind of like dead end jobs in a way. Like, uh, what was it? I would make income, but I can't really see like where I'm going to go with it. Like, you know, how high it's going to go. Like I, I, I didn't, I saw like a limit to um, how much I could do with this. Um, uh, and that's, pretty much because I probably just um, don't have any passion for it. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, so so I was thinking while, while I was on my fourth year of real estate, I was like, yeah, I should probably start thinking of doing something else because I don't want to keep on doing this forever. You know, I don't want to be like working like a zombie, like, you know, without, you know, like just, just uh, being no motivational all, all the time. Um, so that's when I was like scrolling YouTube and then I uh, just found, um, kind of found Seth um, uh, talking about his uh, channel pretty much. I first found him through like another channel called uh, Engineer Truth. That, that that was another like career channel that was like promoting his um, course. And, um, you know, through there, I, uh, I encountered, you know, Seth's course and then um, saw a bunch of testimonials, like a bunch of positive testimonials. And uh, it kind of sounded real to me um on what he was talking about he really emphasizes on you know you can if you actually you know get into this course and follow his blueprint uh, per se because his you know course is called Seth's uh in demand career blueprint um and then you know you can get rather fast results to uh get into the digital marketing realm which i kind of had uh interest in you know um back then like a little bit like on like e-commerce and um all that stuff. So, um, so I was like, okay, yeah, why, why not take a shot at it? I mean, you know, like maybe this is something that I can maybe look into just, just kind of like, um, uh, open up my horizons in a way. And so I was watching his testimonials and just, just seeing what's like kind of possible, um, with this course and with the industry and kind of like, he kind of lays out like the career path and, you know, opportunities available and stuff and how like really anyone can, you know, really follow his blueprint and uh, gain success from it. So I was, I got pretty hyped up and, you know, um, yeah, I was, I just, I just took a shot at it and uh, just, just joined his course. And uh, I just wanted to quickly ask uh, how long after you sort of saw uh, the opportunity to do the course, did you actually decide to uh, make the purchase and, and go through with it? Oh, yeah, good question. Um, I probably it took me like well, I don't exactly remember it, but probably like a month or two, maybe. Um, since you know I was kind kind of hesitant to make that like little investment, um, 
So I was like watching kind of a bunch of testimonials, right? And um, yeah, I don't know how many I watched, but <laughs> after a couple, yeah, I was, I was, I was sold and I was like, okay, let's do this. Um, you know, I gotta, I gotta change somehow. So. Yeah. And, and that's something I always tell people is like the great thing about Seth's course is he literally between his Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and um, Instagram, he literally has thousands of testimonials. So if, if you're the type of person who wants to watch like videos, lots of videos on YouTube, um, if you're the type of person who just wants to, you know, read testimonials, tons of them on his Instagram, I, I think Seth has probably helped more people than any other person in the world get digital marketing jobs. And he literally has like thousands of testimonials. So there's just overwhelming proof that like his system, what he teaches works. Um, and that's great because, you know, I was actually just doing research on some of these digital marketing boot camps because it was a request. It was a video request I got. And they're, first of all, they're $15,000, these digital marketing boot camps. Crazy expensive. That's basically like a college degree, <laughs> right? And then second of all, I couldn't find hardly any testimonials. All the testimonials they had were just like a picture of a person's face and then a quote, which that mm. could just be an exit survey, right? Like that's the, that's not even necessarily a testimonial. It could just be like an exit survey. Like, oh, what did you like about this course? You know, mm. after they've yeah. already taken it or something. And then, or it's just then, like on their website. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So that's not even <laughs> like a legit review or testimonial. Yeah. So um, it's just crazy how like how little proof a lot of these programs and then don't even get me started on college like colleges have almost zero proof that that uh, what they teach works so um, yeah I always recommend to people I, I totally understand a lot of the time people are very skeptical I've had people in the comments say like they're extremely skeptical and that's great you should be skeptical go and mm -hmm. look at all the proof right go and look at all the yeah. proof that it works yeah. I was and, I was definitely skeptical like I told you like I kind of implied yeah <laughs> For sure. I, I think anybody who's making the claim that they can get you into like a really solid career in just like a, you know, a month to three to four months, something like that, in many cases, where you can scale that career up to, you know, 100k per year within like, you know, three years, that that is a pretty bold claim. And everyone should be skeptical and, and look into it. I totally understand that. Um, because mm -hmm. most of the time, when people make claims like that on the internet, it is BS. But in this particular case, there's overwhelming evidence. So so definitely look into it. I always tell people to do that. Um, <laughs> I also have a playlist of different people that I've interviewed. So you can check that out on, on the YouTube channel. And how was the course? What did you think about it overall? Yeah, I thought um, what's great about the course is it's, it's you know, th there's, there's a lot of information out there, right? Um, kind of almost like too much information out on the internet um youtube as well um but you know seth's course like blueprint is really organized in which you know he kind of goes like step by step into like you know what you should start with like how you should review the course or like how you should study for the course or you know what exercises you should uh, be working on what to what information to focus on as well because you know again there's so much information out there but he's just like you know just just really take these practical skills um and, you know, just, just make it yours and, you know, um, you know, just kind of go with that. So, um, I thought it was, uh, in that sense, very efficient, um, which I think, you know, really brings value. Got it. And what did you think about sort of the community that they have, like with the Facebook group and oh, yeah. the instructors and, and all that sort of thing? Very, very helpful. Um, well, at least, at least on my time, I, I can't speak to the instructor part because at least on my time, like two and a half years ago, I think um, he, you know, it was really only Seth, Seth teaching himself and kind of like him kind of answering back in the community um, board in which, of course, he gets back like, you know, within like a day or two. So it was very, very helpful uh, whenever I had like questions, um, you know, it would, whenever I had like some question or anything, like I would just post on the community board and either him or like, you know, some um some other person in the community will like get back to you as well so um i thought that was a great community um also what is it we ma i made a lot of connections on linkedin um you know with those people and uh you know we got to kind of like pick each other's brains out or like you know kind of like brainstorm with each other and just like you know or just like endorse each other on linkedin as well that you know, i think that helped as well um so it was it was very beneficial community overall, I would say. Yeah.
Awesome. And so from the time that you purchased the course, I know you said that you kind of went through it slowly and that's totally fine. But from the time that you purchased the course to the time where you got your first job offer, how long was that approximately? Um, so I would probably say like, like a month and a half to two months, because the thing is I started looking, <laughs> um, around like Thanksgiving. So pretty much like all these companies and recruiters are kind of like on vacation, right? Uh, well, not everyone, but, um, at least, at least the company that got, that I got into like Mindshare, the recruiter from there, I reached out to him like around Thanksgiving and he got back to me around like January <laughs> and then I got in that company. So, you know, I think if, if actually he had gotten back to me sooner then I probably would have gotten <laughs> a lot sooner. Um, but yeah, I would say, um, because of all that factor, uh, it's probably a month and a half to two months. Yeah. So you actually got your first job offer before you even finished the full course, because you said it took you um, about like four months to get through the course or so. I don't know. Sorry. Af after like the four months and then. After oh, like got you. Week, okay. I like going through the material, I started to apply and then, you know, that around that, that around that time was like Thanksgiving time. So. Okay. Got it. Got yeah. it. And so um, I know everybody's going to want to know I, if you're comfortable, you can share this. If you're not comfortable, maybe just tell me generally speaking what people can expect, but uh, uh, everybody's going to want to know about salary. So let's talk about mm -hmm. the money, right? <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah. people are going to want to know like what was that first job offer like in terms of salary yeah um for me it was it was uh it wasn't that high uh, of course well it was not high at all it was like um it was really starting salary was 40,000 for me um and then you know in Seth's course you know he says kind of just use that uh kind of just go in for the experience don't really worry about the salary in the beginning because in six months to a year, you know, there's a lot of people who jump up to like, you know, 60,000, 65,000 in which, um, that happened to me as well. My second job after a year, um, or my second company after a year, they offered me 65,000. So yeah, that's how it started out. And then right now it's like two years later, um, I got into another company, <laughs> um, uh, called CMI media group. Um, and, uh, they, uh, they offer me like 80,000 right now plus bonus. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's pretty much my uh, career path so far in terms of uh, salary. Got it. So you're yeah. about, you're about, you said you're two to two and a half years in now is, was that correct? Yeah. About two and a half right now. Yeah. Awesome. So you got to that like 80 plus the bonus. And if the bonus mm -hmm. is good, you might even make it to like the six figure level around like two and a half to three years in something along those lines. I know that by the way, I should probably mention at this point, um, Seth does have a free masterclass. You can check it out down below. If you're kind of confused about all the different routes you can go into, or you're just confused about digital marketing in general, uh, Seth does have that free masterclass. Um, I'll put that down in the link as well as the pinned comment below. It's about three hours or so, very informational. I went through it myself and I learned a lot, even though I already knew quite a bit about digital marketing, but uh, very, very awesome masterclass. So definitely check that out. Um, but Next, I want to kind of ask about your quality of life. So how is sort of just the quality of life of the job itself versus, you know, and your job satisfaction versus uh, back when you were doing real estate sales? Yeah. So um, when I was doing sales, right, I wasn't really happy about my position. It's not, not just from the income perspective, but like from my, um, I'll say like fulfillment level as well. And, you know, of course I get like a lot of angry um, clients or customers, right? Naturally like real estate salesperson, um, <laughs> you know, you're not, you're not the most popular guys. <laughs> so I kind of like, I would say I kind of got sick of that in a way and got into this. And then right now um, I feel very uh, like, fulfilled I think um, it's a very um, mentally stimulating uh, career path I mean you know it's kind of a lot of strategy and um, kind of like data analysis and all that um, so you know I, I I kind of found out I, I really like that part about um, this business so I don't know like just 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 for like job function itself I'm, I'm very happy with it I, I you know it's a very important job for one thing so I'm very happy about that. Um, and I guess uh, just um, to get to kind of like a work-life balance, I think 
kind of want to get into that, right? Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it's 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 really good. Um, when I was in real estate, I, like I was working like almost like six seven days. <laughs> so, oh yeah, real estate you know, is then, crazy. Then, like, weekends, sometimes. yeah, weekends is like yeah. busiest time. But then other times you got to be like you know prospecting or reaching out to people or like you know touching base and stuff like that, right? So they kind of like almost don't have a day off in a way. Mm -hmm. uh, but I wasn't I wasn't making that much, you know, income anyways. You know, I was struggling there. Whereas right now, um, it's really like, um, so my hours are like 8.30 to like, you know, um, like 4.30 or 5, depending on like the workload I have. Um, and then my my past company was like 9 to 5, pretty much. Um, and, you know, they don't really encourage you to like stay overtime or anything. So like, they're like, you can if you want to, but like, you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, if, if you have something you can just pick up tomorrow, then just, just you know, please do so. So you know, there's like almost, I'm not gonna say no pressure, but yeah, like almost, almost no pressure for me at, at this point right now. So um, it's it's like a lot less stressful basically than the, oh yeah. the real estate sales job. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, for another, another thing, like, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, working remotely right now. Um, you know, even after two years after the pandemic, whereas like, you know, a lot of people are starting to like, kind of like go back to the office. Um, and, uh, you know, my company kind of like gives a choice. So like, they're like, you can come into the office if you want, but like, you know, if you just want to stay at home, you can stay home. All right. So if there's somebody who's watching this, they're on the fence, they, you know, they're thinking maybe I should do digital marketing, or maybe they've decided that they want to do digital marketing, but they're wondering uh, if they should uh, purchase Seth's course. What would you say to that person? Yeah, good question. I mean, I, I was there, I was on the fence um, before, um, but uh you know, I, I took a leap of faith. I jumped into his course. Um, I trusted his process, um, you know, his blueprint. And I pretty much got what I want from it, um, you know, in a very efficient way, I would say. So I, I would I would totally recommend, um, you know, going through that route if I were you, if, if you were very interested in this field. And then um, one, one comment I got on one of my past videos, I just wanted to... Uh uh ask you this are, are you getting paid to do this interview no <laughs> okay no, oh, yeah because i just asked you nicely and uh, i was like all right yeah sure i'm yeah. happy to share my experience you know yeah the, there's there's skeptical which which is great guys i i always recommend everyone you know be like a rational optimist that's what i always recommend for people be a rational optimist so being skeptical is a good thing but then there then there's borderline like conspiracy theorists who are like, oh, you're like a paid actor or whatever. So I just wanted to to ask you that just to make sure, uh, just to make sure you're not a paid actor, right? And, and to- uh, Yeah, yeah. I mean, so if, if anything, if anything, probably looking at my LinkedIn profile would be proof that I'm not. And I was like, there's, <laughs> I kind of don't have, um, you know, I kind of don't really have a reason to. I just I just thought um, spreading this idea, like, you know, just, just this positive um, feedback would be- uh, a good way for me to give back a little, you know? So. Yeah. And like, it's amazing. A lot of these $15,000 boot camps can't even get somebody to come on camera. Uh, <laughs> and they might even like pay them to do that. Right. And then yeah. with Seth's course, it's so good. And people, so many people have had such a amazing outcomes from it that all of them like want to come on camera and do interviews. So it's just like a night and day difference. So yeah, that's, uh, it's really awesome. It's amazing what Seth has done. And if people yeah. only knew how picky I am with uh, who I promote on this channel, I am super, super OCD and picky. Like some of the <laughs> some of the ones I've turned down are like good, but they're not great. They're not the best. And I, I only try to partner with the absolute best people when it comes to uh, getting people results. So uh, thank you so much for coming on the channel. Uh, I really appreciate it. I uh, really appreciate you sharing your story. I think a lot of people are going to get value from it. Um, and yeah, thank you so much again. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks for having me.